thousand years ago, Indian empires flourished in what is now Mexico and Guatemala. People built incredible cities and awesome pyramids. They often used these same pyramids, however, for a grim ritual. The sacrifice of human beings. What sort of men were these? What dark secrets are entombed inside their massive pyramids? Vast areas of Central America are dense, uninhabited jungles. For centuries, the only regular visitors have been men known as Chicleros. They come in search of the chicle tree, from whose sap chewing gum is made. Often, it was these Chicleros who first discovered towering, vine-shrouded mounds, ancient stone pyramids. All over Mexico and Guatemala, pyramids lie in ruins, remains of many separate Indian cultures, some dating back thousands of years. The few pyramids that have been restored are among the most awesome works of antiquity. In Cholula, there is a pyramid which in volume is the largest building on earth. 1,400 feet on each side, it covers 45 acres. To probe its construction, archaeologists dug four miles of tunnels inside the pyramid. They found steps of three earlier pyramids built one on top of another. The oldest dates back some 1,800 years. In the heart of Mexico City, workers are digging out an Aztec pyramid. Covering two city blocks, the ruins consist of nine overlapping pyramids. Archaeologists are restoring the original appearance. It was here in 1520 that Spanish conquistadores, led by Hernán Cortés, marveled at a gleaming white pyramid 100 feet high. It supported temples dedicated to the chief Aztec gods. The many temples and plazas comprised one of the great religious and ceremonial centers of ancient Mexico. When the Spaniards arrived in the New World, most of these pyramids were already in ruins, sources of mystery even to the native peoples. Later, travelers in Mexico who knew that the Egyptian pyramids were burial monuments asked whether the pyramids of Mexico might contain tombs or buried treasures. When none was found, they wondered what strange meaning these pyramids might have had. Ancient American pyramids are found in the ruins of great architectural complexes. At the top of each pyramid is a platform reached by a steep staircase. Here stands a temple consisting of a few dark rooms. Why did these tiny temples require such massive bases? Near Mexico City sprawl the sun-baked ruins of Teotihuacan, largest and most mysterious city of ancient America. Dominating its avenues are huge pyramids. Here, the enigmas begin. Facing west, the largest pyramid of Teotihuacan was dedicated to the sun god. Only half the height of the largest Egyptian pyramid the Pyramid of the Sun nevertheless covers the same immense area, almost 600,000 square feet. If the builders had contact with Egypt, no one can say. Recently, an ancient tunnel was discovered under the Sun Pyramid. It leads to a natural cavern where only a few pottery shards have been found. To Mexican Indians, caves symbolize Mother Earth. 
Some archaeologists believe the cave was the legendary birthplace of the Pyramid Builders tribe. Its discovery has fueled speculation that somewhere in the huge bulk of the pyramid are hidden chambers, perhaps even a tomb. 300 meters from the Sun Pyramid is a group of ancient holes forming a triple cross. From this spot, on June 21st, the longest day of the year, the Sun can be seen to rise over the pyramid's third notch, precisely marking the summer solstice. Of the people who built Teotihuacan, little is known. To their origin, we have scarcely a clue. The city flourished for centuries. Then, suddenly, 1,200 years ago, it was burnt and abandoned for reasons unknown. No other great city left so few traces of its demise. No hieroglyphic writing or apocalyptic legends record the city's end. Did the climate change suddenly? Could disease, hunger, and civil strife have made the city vulnerable to invaders from the north? Why was their city of over 200,000 laid out in such precise grids? What was their religion? Who were their gods? We are still searching for clues. One pyramid is decorated with great serpents. The snake heads resemble Quetzalcoatl, an important Mexican deity of later centuries. A strange blend of God, man, and beast, he was revered for introducing learning and art. He shares the pyramid with Tlaloc, the fierce Mexican rain god. Remarkably, the same goggle eyes are found 700 miles to the east in ruined cities whose people we do know. They were a separate culture, the Maya, and were somehow connected to Teotihuacan. Within a century of the end of Teotihuacan, the Mayan Empire also collapsed. At the Mayan center of Chichen Itza, there is a temple known as the Caracol, was a solar and astronomical observatory used a thousand years ago by Mayan priests. Night after night, astronomer priests charted the movements of heavenly bodies, making sightings with sticks or hollow tubes. Despite their lack of modern instruments, these early astronomers created a solar calendar whose accuracy was unrivaled until the 19th century. They recorded the rising of stars, had an excellent lunar calendar, and could warn of eclipses years in advance. The Dresden Codex, an ancient Mayan manuscript, preserves their calculation of the motions of Venus accurate to one hour in a span of 300 years. For the Maya, the cycle of day and night was linked to the supernatural world of life and death. The nine tiers of their pyramids represented the nine levels of the underworld. Why, if the pyramids were connected with death, did they not have tombs? In 1949, archaeologist Alberto Rus was exploring a pyramid at the Mayan center of Palenque. To his surprise, he uncovered a rubble-filled staircase leading down to the heart of the pyramid. At the bottom of the staircase, Bruce found skeletons of several youths, perhaps placed there as guardians. Then, he broke through to a large vaulted room. Around the walls were stucco reliefs of Mayan gods, known as Lords of Darkness. In 
In the center of the chamber, Dr. Roos saw a huge stone monolith covered with carvings. Levantamos la lápida que cubría. We lifted the flat inscribed stone and found a large opening that was covered with another stone. We lifted that one too and found a sarcophagus in which appeared a skeleton of a man with all his jade jewelry. <laughs> 